So I'm going to uh, show you really quick how to use a, a continuity meter. So on my um, multimeter, I have set the dial to uh, ohms right here. And ohms in uh, electricity mean uh, resistance, or it's a, a, a measure for uh, resistance in an electronic circuit. So as you see, uh, there's a 1 right here, um, which means that my two probes are not connected in a circuit. If I connect them together, that means the two probes complete a circuit and there's a resistance measurement right there. If I pull them apart, um, there's no circuit. So, uh, I'm going to take um, the barrel connector with the wire I just cut and one side or one of the probes I'm going to put inside the barrel connector. And as you remember, the center of the barrel connector was positive, right? So I'm going to find out which one of these two wires is actually connected to the center of my barrel connector so I know uh, which one of these two wires to connect to the hot on the P2140. So I'm going to take the other probe and I'm going to touch um, the outside uh, multi-strand wire. And as you see on the continuity meter, uh, there's one. So that means they're not connected in a circuit. So of course the center a multi-strand wire has to be the one that's connected in a circuit with the center of the pin and as you see there's a uh, resistance measurement so this is my actually my positive wire so we're gonna finish uh, stripping the wire um, the one thing that I want to point out here is once you strip a part of this wire these two are gonna be uh, very close together the positive and the negative so you don't actually want to strip all the way down to where um, the negative is wrapped around so leave a little bit of space up here so that way you can shrink tube and isolate both and make sure they're separated so this one looks like um, a 16 gauge uh, wire so I'm just gonna uh, find a 16 gauge hole on my wire stripper and again you're gonna do the same motion um, rotate 90 degrees on the second time make sure you have a nice hole um, kinda close your wire strippers run the hole, pull on it, yeah, and once was, there's some separation between the, the two was, uh, uh, plastic pieces, uh, just pull with your fingers. So now I have the negative part and the positive part. Make sure where the positive is twisted around so get it ready for um, soldering. So before we start soldering, um, there's one more thing, or a couple more things you need to do. So grab your uh, P2140 output harness which is the 8-pin Molex connector. And what you do is uh, you grab one of the reds and one of the black wires. So that's your uh, primary output. Um, and what you do is, before you start soldering, is strip the ends about equal length as uh, your strip on the positive wire on the barrel uh, connector. So about that much. Make sure they're both equal, and then what you do is uh, if you have string tubing, uh, slip the string tubing onto the wires first, and then slide it a um, little bit more than halfway down, because once you apply heat um, on these wires during soldering, they're going to get hot, and you don't want the string tubing to uh, shrink uh, beforehand. And what actually what I sh uh, put here also is a larger... Um, shrink tubing piece uh, to kind of engulf both, both wires and you'll see why uh, a little bit later in the process and again this can also be done with just plain simple electrical tape so you don't have to go the uh, extra length okay so uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna solder the positive wire together so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of crisscross these and I'm going to wind them around each other so they just kind of stay together uh, during the solder process. Um, I kind of want to make um, sure there's kind of like a, a straight piece and then I'll grab my um, soldering iron in my right hand side because I'm right handed. Uh, I'll take a little bit of solder in my left hand side so when you solder, you actually want to uh, put your soldering tip over as much wiring surface as possible. 
so that way it heats up faster so uh, we're gonna need to wait a little bit until it heats up you can kind of test by putting some solder on the tip and watch until that solder goes from the tip to your uh, wire so it kind of looks okay it's a little bit ugly could be better but it does the job so inspect it if it's okay uh, pull the sleeve over and uh, use the heat gun There's still um, a little bit of ground kind of poking around. So what I want to do is actually isolate that too, um, just so it doesn't um, rub against anything. Because you never know what you have in the car just floating around. So take out that larger uh, shrimp tuning piece, kind of pull it over. Okay, so for the last step uh, in the process, um, just to show you, so we've taken the battery out of the laptop, so if it doesn't have power, it won't run. Um, so that's that. Um, before you actually plug in the newly made barrel connector married to the P2140 output harness, um, we're going to actually test out the voltage um, out of this barrel connector just to make sure we didn't make any mistakes along the way. And it's actually, there's positive voltage out of the center pin and it's 19 volts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my car on. There we go, my car is on. My P2140 is uh, booting. I have power. So what I'm gonna do, this is the negative. I'm gonna apply it to the outside of the barrel connector and put the positive on the inside and look at the voltmeter. Alright, I have 18.6 volts, which should be more should be more than enough to power my laptop. So I'm gonna put the leads down. I'm gonna take this barrel connector and plug it in to the back of my laptop. Cross my fingers and press the power button. Alright, we're business. <laughs>